I took the liberty, although there's so much to talk about the state of the economy, I took the liberty to pen some thoughts down, and I want to share those with you. So if you allow me to read for a second, on the state of the economy, Belize's growing debt has steered the economy towards low growth and has direct impact on the rate of inflation. Economists globally agree that it is difficult to grow and invest for growth in an economy that is carrying the size of debt in relation to our GDP. To compound our problems today, all this debt buildup did not lead to expansion of our productive sectors, which would have been an acceptable justification justification for the debt buildup, or the accumulation of capital goods that would be required to ensure expansion of the productive sectors. An ideal economy would be showing real growth rate in the GDP at double the rate of inflation. However, there are those that subscribe to the Keynesians, Keynesians economics that encourages deficit spending to supposedly jumpstart the economy. Again, the problem arises as to where best to invest these monies being borrowed. The petro Caribbean monies that were available to be invested in the productive sector was a perfect opportunity for Belize to have invested in our productive sectors. Instead, these monies were spent to win elections by prioritizing public projects in infrastructural development. The DPP maintains that the newly established National Bank and the Development Finance Corporation should have been used to lend the petrochemical money to our productive sectors. This would have ensured the country's growth in the productive sector, thereby facilitating the imports of production needed to curtail the need for foreign exchange, as well as increase the number of items to be exported and the total amount of export earnings. An economy can be likened to a living organization of which the cash flow is the lifeblood thereof. When cash flow is diverted for expenditures that produce nothing in return, the economy weakens. Before we can turn this trend around, we must stop the parasitic drain of resources through white collar crimes called corruption. If available funds through the years were used for the development of our productive sectors, including like manufacturing, Belize will be developed and financially stable today. The productive sector is in need of attention today more than ever. With the issues of the risking added to the devastation done to our productive sectors, we in the BPP are calling on the government of Belize to start giving special attention to the productive sector. A quick review at key industries in Belize reveals these findings. Sugar and papaya industries and free zone of north are all in grave danger. With the drop in sugar prices and the loss due to negligence of the factory with the molasses, will see the foreign exchange earnings from sugar significantly reduced, placing small farmers in jeopardy of losing their lands. While the collapsing of the cigarette re-exporting industry have crippled the struggling free zone. Finally, the papaya industry has collapsed causing hundreds of workers to lose their jobs as well. Looking down south, citrus and banana industries are also suffering great hardship and in need of special attention. Citrus is suffering from the greening disease that has diminished the yield, while banana has suffered a few blows back to back, including the closure of Chan Savani Farm, the drought of last year, and the destruction caused earlier this year by Hurricane Earl. The shrimp industry likewise has been experiencing a virus that killed the shrimps and has the industry seeking to divest into other agricultural products that are currently exploring sea cucumber aquaculture. Hurricane Earl has affected the crops of our small farmers and have them now seeking to borrow more than they are able to service in an effort to recover from the hurricane. If the government of Belize does not intervene by way of making available access to low interest financing through the National Bank and DFC, our small farmers will eventually lose their lands in a short while. The BPP is calling on the government to immediately pass a statutory instrument to exempt taxes and fuel construction supplies and capital goods identified for the rebuilding of all affected industries and disaster areas for a period of three months. This must be complemented by another statutory instrument that will put all foreclosures on a two years moratorium, allowing the government to refinance through the National Bank and the ESC 
during this period. The DPP also believes that the time is overdue for the government of Belize to pass user laws to control interest rates and to prevent predatory lending practices by our banks and other lenders that have been preying on our desperate Belizeans who will need capital to build up their businesses. Finally, crime at all levels must be curbed substantially if any of the above remedies are to work. Crime has escalated to the point that it is seriously impacting our economic development. The higher the levels of corruption crimes committed with cocaine, the greater the level of street crime, the main crimes committed with the law. The DPP is therefore calling on the government to sign the United Nations Convention Against Corruption to start doing things the way it should be with a commitment to transparency and accountability, maintaining a stance of zero tolerance on corruption. Thank you, and we look forward to answering your questions.